Once upon a time, there was a fairy tale castle in Poland. No queens or princes lived there, though, but witches and wizards. This was a place of learning, but also a place of magic. The place we are talking about is Choha College of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and it's still there today. This LARP is world famous. Even people that I talk to that don't know what LARP is, they know about this event. It's so surreal and so immersive and it's amazing. One word about Choha. Just fantastic. <sighs> One word that has to be awesome. Ah, that's easy. Magic. Fantastic. Breathtaking. Exciting. Fantasy. Real. That's the word. It's real. The castle's real. The world is real. The characters are real. The conflicts are real. The relationships are real. The house is real. It's all real. You've got to go to Joa to understand how real it is. It started out as a single LARP event, but it's turned into much more than that. At Choha, when the witchards gather, the castle is filled with their laughter, their songs, and their enthusiasm, and sometimes their tears, because LARP can also hit you where it hurts when you least expect it, even when you're just playing around in a castle, pretending to be witches and wizards and having fun. Togante, Seante, Baliros, Torvadar. You'll see their faces start to change. They start to look more and more like them, yes? Look at them. They've come back to you. They're here again, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. They're looking at you. Mother, sister, they're right there. My character, Professor Peace, uh, summoned ghosts that are attached to this castle and brought them down into the cellar by using runes and mirrors. I use some of my experience from uh, being in uh, monasteries in Tibet, in India, doing some uh, Dalai Lama project. I use some of the stuff I use for uh, some uh, horror movie and I use some of the runes and the stuff with Viking culture because I'm from Norway, so I know this from school. Uh, so for me, it was not so much the, the prepping for the last two, three days, but more like when you are a professor, you need to find what is your actually expertise or interest in life. And you, you make that into something interesting in the game. about taking care of the magical creatures we have in the wizarding world. For learning about the beasts, I try to get a little bit from the mythology because many of them are mythological, real mythology things like the Minotaur, the Faun, and so many others. And half of it, we have a book in-game called The Bestiary 
So I was basically basing that so the students could relate and some of them could actually answer my questions, what I was asking and not everything just just made up. So they could actually read it beforehand. Nobody of them did that, but they could actually read it before that and know some information what I was talking about. Chimera on the app. Fear everything. The second you stop fearing demonology, is the second demonology will kill you. Forward. Forward. Therefore, we will start with protection. You are young people. You are likely to do stupid things that you haven't considered or thought through and not consider protection. I want you to think about protection. Yeah, so I teach magical theory and I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to make this uh, fun because I'm, I'm not in a sense very academic person, at least when I'm LARPing. Uh, but I thought about uh, a lot of like hexes and jinxes that would be fun for the teachers. So it's a, the flingy spells is the fun thing. So I built that into my character. And I also built this uh, wonderful little box of spell ingredients and I tried to weave that also into the lesson. So showing the players, for example, uh, different kind of bones, having them identify them and then asking them how to ethically harvest it uh, from the creatures. I think it's about the perfect fantasy of living and breathing and actually being in that Harry Potter style world. Like the castle is just so magical. It is it has those weird winding passageways and it has a crazy authentic looking rooms and everything just seems like you're actually really really there and there's nothing to really break that a fantasy and it feels so amazing but well that is what it's mostly about but I think it's also about meeting other uh, people from all around the world and uh, drinking having fun and just uh, sharing in that um, passion about wanting to be a wizard in real life Yes. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do this. At this college, basically, I was uh, the headmaster. We come, dear welcome. We have whatever. I need you all welcome, my dear students. Progressing the character, I realized that with great power comes great craziness. And I decided that this, this character, Ostenstern, shall inspire people by being just something, something glorious, something wonderful to look at. And so I did put uh, quite some time into collecting things to wear. I was even changing my costume, my accessories every few hours. I did change my hair color every day. I even went to wear um, ties, bow ties, dresses, everything that's, that's possible just to show that, that if, you, if you've got that power, you've that's crazy, you just change, you can't stop, you do whatever you need to do. Because you are that powerful. We yeah. will now start with the brief acts after my speech, and I ask of the students to arrive at the night halls at 5 p.m. Well, in my opinion, it's about uh, enjoying yourself, it's about doing something that you don't do in, uh, in your daily uh, routine, uh, getting somewhere else, meeting uh, some interesting persons that have more or less the same kind of hobby that you have. Uh, so it's all for fun. Uh, my character is uh, Jessine Gringor. She's an assistant professor at the school uh, and uh, she's been traveling for two years since she left uh, as a student here, and during that time she met a, a cat, a little cat, uh, 
who she bonded as familiar with. And they have now returned to school as assistant uh, teachers, and uh, she has been part of a lot of lessons in uh, almost all the subjects. So it's been quite a lot of running around and so much different experiences. Um, I play a girl called Emrys Took. She is the prefect of House Aretius. It was a lot of fun playing a prefect because they're kind of like the celebrities of the school. They take care of everybody and I had all these responsibilities, which was a lot of fun to roleplay. How I prepared for the LARP is uh, I bought lots of cute outfits and I uh, got my wand. I mean, that had like a custom design. The first thing I said was, uh, Hey listen, can you make a wand that's pink? <laughs> so that turned out very well. So, the single file, come up in front of me. If need be, curve the line when you reach the door. Single file, close it. Not gonna bite you. <gasps> <laughs> well, that's some extra physical exercise for you. Jock on now. No, I want you to remember this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jock on now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna find my lens cap. And also, Christensen. Yeah. Minus for A for one control. How's the wrenches? I don't need my lens cap. Jock on now! Ah! Okay, bye. When it, when it comes to preparing myself for the whole thing, I just try to think of it like acting. But when it one started, it was like you turn something off inside yourself. Get it was on enough to be able to really revit, really appreciate the experience. And it was like something was built inside you yet destroyed. That's part of the success, I think, of Kellarp. Is you're in a castle. You're in a real 14th century castle, and it's not a sanitized version of a 14th century castle. It's dangerous. To be honest, I personally feel like it's one of the worst places you could... It's a very, very fun place to be, and the pay is very good, and the, and the bosses... Very nice, and, and, and the food is very nice as well, and um, yes, and normally you just walk around and I clean the places and make sure that everything is as it should be, and and the tables are clean, his shoes and underwear is clean, and um, yes, make sure that students also have stuff to drink. Boxes, they said. They make the, the whole job worth it, and it's the best part of the whole castle. They are so nice to me all the time, and they never punch me or kick me, or throw me down sets of stairs, or try to set me on fire, or try to get me to fetch a chair in the middle of the class. Very, very, very nice. Anyway, I have I am not. Damn, Alexandro! I am very grateful for your principal's picture you drew for me. You are right. It is favorite animal! And the, uh, also, I want to confirm you that I will take funny. you as partner to the court! I keep my words! Septimus, what the bell? Also, P.S. Trey, if you change this into Screamer, I personally hate you to look like 72 in porn! Is that you? Yes! This is what you Okay! Oh, take this! Take this! this. Take this. Take also, this. gift! Two gift! For College of Wizardry, we've made this huge. Uh, student handbook that you receive when you arrive to Joha here and it's about 560 pages and uh, we actually wrote a lot more for it so we had to make an additional book uh, a beast story book and about 80 or 90 pages as well for making that book we've had about actually I counted it to be over 70 contributors the book that we have has uh, a teaching part and a world part uh, so the teaching part is about mainly made by either right now teachers or former teachers making articles about different subjects if it's technomancy or ritmancy or magical defense 
And then we have the world text, which would be text about famous families and uh, how the confluxes work and uh, stuff like that. The magic that we had have at College of Wizardry is fictional. And uh, you can also read that in the book, in the study book. You have like teaching parts with a ribbency text explaining how magic functions with numbers. But all of this is inspired by other works of art with people who have made good ideas on how to do magic in a fun way. Good afternoon and welcome to another lesson of PE. Apparently there have been several complaints yesterday about the cold, about the tactics and about uh, not using the book. So today I've decided we're going to use the book. So place it in front of you on the floor. Take your right leg up in the air. Put it on the book. Yes, that's your fracking book. Stand on it with one leg. Let's make sure you're using the book, which is in the curriculum, apparently. During Cal 6, I was a helper. This means that I had practical duties like carrying stuff and setting up scenography items. But also that I've played various non player characters. And look yeah. at you surrounded. Bravo. Look around. Bravo. 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 I was a cousin goblin, a zombie, a ghost, and at one point a mundane without a voice. I've also done makeup, helped with costumes, and done a thousand small things. And how was it, you ask? Well, it was one of the biggest adventures of my life. I've been a part of College of Wizardry organizing crew since the very beginning, but only during the sixth run I finally got a chance to play and feel the LARP from the inside. My character name was Aisling Sinclair and she was a daughter from purebat Wichard family of Scottish pirates. And during the game she held the function of Prefect of House Libusa, rebellious, daring and creative house who took a white lion as a symbol. Other houses of Choha are named Turentius, Sendivogius, Molin and Faust, each with their own traditions and style. Durentius has rooster as its symbol and is often full of pranksters. Their watchword are valor and diligence. Story of Durentius and his cock. Well, if you heard the story then you probably heard enough. Rooster, rooster, to the moon and back again. Rooster, rooster, valor. <laughs> the power hungry students from House Faust have the dragon as their symbol and are great believers in wisdom and might. You are now Faustians. You will forever be Faustians. This is something to be proud of. Something to fight for. Something to fight for. Hold your head up high. Be proud. The diplomats of House Sendivogius have a phoenix on their house crest and also focus on courage and honor. Traditionally, they also have the weirdest drinks. And last but not least, House Molin has the golem. They are like a closed family with values such as cunning and loyalty. That makes us related! Loyalty makes us family! When we started doing this project in April 2014, we went from drunken idea generation to fully sold out LARP in eight days. Eight days. That's crazy. And here, a little over a year after, none of us could have known where this would take us. Personally, I think that's the greatest lesson that College of Wizardry has to teach us all. Magic may not be real, but we can still do something magical together. We had the time of our lives but now we pay the price Hear the rooster cries The phoenix arise from the ashes The dragon roars with its might The golem a terrifying sight The lion, the king of the pride College of Wizardry It was College of Wizardry The place where we were
to LARP or not to LARP? That is the question. Is it not? Or maybe it is about love. Because for me, being a Jobak, that is love. <laughs> for, for the NPCs, I don't know. And do a harmony. Go back, says, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>